welcome new tenants to your new home for the next how many months um, I would like to do some guidelines for you guys so that you you know what are the rules or what to follow and what to expect first off this house is an HOA house so um, there's rules and for sure um, the property management already gave you the uh, book the handbook so make sure you follow them uh, one of the things that um, I encounter when I got the handbook is that um, you need to make sure that your property is clean so like for instance this um, needs to be no no weed or the plants are not dying and for that to make it happen of course you need to like clean it up um, every Wednesday there's like a truck that comes and collects the garbage and most of the time because because of some reason they mess up our front and like some garbage gets in here so um, just make sure you clean it up and like remove the weeds and make sure the water is on like the sprinkle and I will go with you with that too okay so first up that and then the second is like the the weird um, rules for the parking um, I'm not gonna go over it with that in details because I for sure uh, the things that is strictly uh, needed here okay so let's go over the sprinkler so the sprinkler um, the sprink the sprinkler control is right over here um, you will see current date start times run times and water times this is already set for you guys but I want to make sure that you know what are the presets just just in case there's a power outage and you need to reset um, this setting so the setting is right here so I put it at 4 a.m. just because you know the water pressure at that hour or like whatever is high run times it should be six not less than six okay water days so general rule it should be um, in um, every other day but since the we have seven days a week so there's two that is like watered okay so again water days um, every other day run time six and more start time whatever time you want and make sure you change the current date so when there's a power outage you need to uh, change change back the current time and day okay next is the fire sprinkler so this is um you will see the current psi of your house it should be right around that not more than that not less than that if you have any problems with it you need to call uh, the hoa first or just call your property management and they will make sure to fix that for you okay lock and this wrench is always here together with all the um handbooks this wrench is used to turn off the gas just if there's some cases that you need to turn off the gas there's a leak or whatever you just put this here and you twist it okay you got it here and there and then you twist if there's a gas leak or whatever that's what you need to do okay and this always goes back here after you use it okay next is the um, water heater so you don't need to change anything on this part it's just if you want it warmer or colder you can just press it you will hear the click Okay, that easy. 
Next is inside the house. Let's go. Next is for the incinerator. For the incinerator, um, this is the on and off switch. So if something happened and if um like for example something got stuck there or it start not working, turn it off right away and um see what's happening. Most of the time, um what happens not here but um in the website they said like um most of the time what happened was um there's something stuck in there like a, a seed or a bone inside the incinerator and you just need to turn it off and use this wrench i tape it up right here and put it around this area right there there's a hole and um you will manually let me show you Put it there okay and then you manually rotate it just to destroy that seed or bone that is get stuck there and then afterwards you can turn it on again and then it will automatically uh, work again so make sure you just put this back there okay next is for the refrigerator you can see this filter if it is lighted like that, it means that you need to change the filter. Okay, so how you do that is open up the refrigerator. You will see this right here. You will twist it open like that. You remove it. Now you will leak for water, right? So make sure you need to buy this um, new filter for you to change it. Okay, so after you remove it, um, you need to put the new one, the new one and put it back there. Okay, I have a new uh, filter and you need to just put it there, twist it, and then lock it. And then you need to go over here and grab new water. And after you change the filter, for you to reset this, you need to hold this for three seconds. Then it will reset. Okay. And then for the first time, you need to grab water. It will yeah it will do like that because it's a new filter then you just need to get water for a while until it gets um better usually i just get like a picture of water for them to reset fully so this filter um do automatically turns on after six months and um we just we just change it on the 520 5 2021 so we make sure that we change it at least once a year or if you if you use too much water you need to make sure you change it every six months but if you don't use a lot of water or you're not getting a lot of drinking water here you can just reset it and make sure you change it every year or else your water's gonna start tasting bad next in our agenda is the ceiling fan so the ceiling fan comes with this remote um there's uh, the switch over here you need to turn it on first so there are options for this there's a light and there's a fan so you can make it a faster just press up and you can make it like slower just make it like down and just turn it off again and light off easy okay next is this remote this remote controls um five 
lights in this house they're gonna give you five of this make sure you return five of this as well when you're done with the lease so you turn on the plug first and that's the light right so there's options you can minimize it you get dim you can maximize it you can max you can change the color warm and then you can get a cool or you can do in between you know what i'm saying okay so i never really i never really change the turn uh this feature because i don't i don't normally i for always forgot so that's that again it's a night mode but it's like it's just very warm then there's max cool and vice versa you can also do like the light sensor or motion sensor um it's just basically automatically on but i never use it that much again you have five of these one downstairs um one here in the one of each rooms basically in the loft so four rooms and the loft all right last but not least is the washing and dryer so for the washing and dryer um it's just turn it on and then do whatever you want to do this is where you put the soap uh soap and then softener or if you need to use bleaches up there it's easy there's a couple of things that you can choose from but um if it is a normal wash i will recommend our cycle just press my cycle and um it will be like cool water uh, medium and then normal cycle and then every once in a while it will prompt you to make sure it get like self clean so it will do its own wash without putting anything um, they recommend to put some bleach on it if you do it like the cycle that cleans the the washing machine but um, you can also just use uh, a detergent or like the soap, regular soap for your, um, the ones that you're using for your clothes. It will work out that it's the same. Okay. And here, this is where you clear it out, the water over there. So make sure you clean it uh, whenever it prompts to do the self clean. After the self clean, you need to empty that it's gonna be disgusting if you don't and okay so turn it off for the dryer it's the same dryer just put a normal or my cycle it's the same um every 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 time you do it make sure you empty the filter sorry there's a lot there because we just did one so you uh, I can show you so here filter you need to clear it every every time okay and for this see it's 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 starting to get dirty but for you to clear this out you just use a vacuum um for that time you can you can just clean the inside uh every every time this gets prompts to that's basically my my time frame of cleaning both the washer and dryer all right thank you guys for watching and enjoy your new home